everybody, let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to look at Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15 and 16, then Isaiah 50, verse 4 and 5, and then Psalm 27, 6. Let's go to Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 15. So the wall was finished on the 25th day of Elul. In 52 days, the wall was finished. And it happened when all our enemies heard of it and all the nations around us saw these things that they were very disheartened in their own eyes for they perceived that this work was done by our God. There's someone listening to this video that this prophetic word is for someone who's coming to the end of a particular work and they think and the enemy's trying to lie to you to think that God has now forsaken you just because the end is happening just because the wall in your life is complete doesn't mean God's not done using you for his glory and his purposes the this the title of this prophetic word is the local work the universal call every time God calls us into a local work there is always the universal call that universal call entails the gifts and calling of God which the Bible says are irrevocable. They don't stop. So maybe the local work that you're seeing that's coming to an end, God is about to prepare you and he wants to remind you of the universal call that also involves another local work. I believe that many were called into this to build, for example, this, these, this wall around the city of Jerusalem that had a universal call. They weren't just there to build a wall. But later, after it was done, there's other things that they did. Well, either they stayed there or some went on, just like we do in our lives today. And there are some that are coming to this exact place. They're seeing the wall finished. They're seeing the work done. And God wants to remind you of the universal call. Do not put your hopes in the local work. Put your hopes in the universal call. And you can know that what kind of universal call you have based on the gifts and calling of God. The gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. So we see that the wall is finished. But we see that this, these people that tried to give Nehemiah and these people uh, finishing the wall around the city of Jerusalem a hard time and tried to keep them from f completing it. The Bible says that they were very disheartened in their own eyes. That means that they looked at each other and said what we did or tried to do to stop this from happening didn't work. That's a part of the local call too. When God begins a local, a local work, not a local call, a local work, he's going to finish it. He brings you in. The, 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 uh, the beginning, the middle, and the end, if it is a local work of God, will be completed and the people that want to um, attack you and keep this from happening are going to have the same results they're going to see that their work didn't happen and then the next thing is they're going to perceive that this work was done by our God as Nehemiah said so they see that their efforts were a waste of time but they also understand that this wasn't done by just any men or women that knew how to throw a hammer or cut some wood they perceive that this was done by our God, which is the best thing. That's how you know it's from God. The local work is done to glorify God. The next thing is the reminder in Isaiah 50, verse 4 and 5, of the universal call. Of course, in the context of this, it's talking about the Messiah. But these um, specific things that God has done uh, with him and describing him um, in his ministry can be applied to every believer as well. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. So remember that the local call is not the definition of, or definitive of your universal the local work is not definitive of the universal call God still has a call upon your life the gifts and calling of God are not irrevocable and it doesn't mean God has stopped doing what he is doing because the local work is done you still have the universal call 
And as a result of that, Psalm 27, 6 says, And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord God. Worship the Lord. Understand that there are two general ways that God works in our lives, the local work and the universal call. God bless you. Have a great day.